Hi, and welcome to today's edition of The Grape List. Today's guest is A2018 Beyond Ye, brought to us by Benjamin Darnault. It is 13% alcohol and coming to us from the Viognier region of France. So without further ado, let's dive back into the grape list with the wine cam. Working from home, wine delivered to home, why leave the house? This is actually the first time in a while that I've actually worn a shirt and pants. You can't see the pants, but know they're there, or whatever. So wine, what do you taste like? Tastes excellent on this nice hot summer day. As you can see, I'm outside trying to get some rays, not be inside all day because, yeah, that's what COVID has us doing for the most part. It's a nice dry white wine, uh, a bit sweet. This wine right here would actually probably pair extremely well with something spicy. Spicy fried chicken. Oh my gosh. That would <laughs> spicy fried chicken in this is uh, probably a killer combination. I now need to find out if Popeye's delivers. The sweetness balances out with the spicy. It's kind of refreshing for the mouth. Get you ready for that next spicy bite. A third note to notice is also smell. What does it smell like? It smells a bit sweet. It's not bad. It does not have a very heavy alcohol smell. While I refresh my glass and try to wait for this wind to die down, let me tell you a little bit about the Viognier region. Viognier actually refers to the grape variety, does not benefit from the oak aging that a lot of red grape varieties benefit from. It's grown on the southern area of the Rhone River, which very much has characteristics of steep slopes. This is a wine that's best enjoyed while young, fresh, and just sit back, kick back, and enjoy. The most important thing about a wine is, where does it fall on the grape list? Smooth taste, not a lot of alcohol flavor, which means pretty low, 13%. Some white wines dip down to like 11 and 12s. And I'm just like, uh, like what are we doing? We're almost drinking beer here. This is beer. It has kind of a beer color to it. Beer hue. So where does this wine fall on the grape list? Well, right now, it's cool taste. Floral notes, floral notes. It's like slightly fruity. Right now, I'm gonna put this wine at number 12. And as always, right hand in life, Left-handed in wine.